dump thread dump garbage collector gc logs many people are always confused and i try to see uh, some kind of content on the internet i could find some data on the websites but not on youtube which gives a proper short description how exactly these things are related and how exactly this works that's why i am coming up with this video and trying to explain every aspect of jvm and java related applications so that you can easily understand so let's not waste time hit the subscribe button for all the learning videos there are many videos which are coming in and there are many courses which are going on so you can be part of that you can learn along with uh, others so you can be part of this journey now uh, directly jump into this slide which i have prepared so what is jvm so jvm is used for all kind of applications which are being developed by java so it's a java virtual machine that is the full form of jvm it's an abstract machine and this is the specification that provides runtime environment with java byte code can be executed so you write java in a code you know in a coding language right after that it is compiled and then after compilation it is uh, run when it, it is running at that time jvm is used and <clears throat> to troubleshoot the issues we have heap dump thread dump garbage collector gc logs etc that helps us in identifying the issues related to memory leak etc and to look into the resource utilization this is very important aspect from the monitoring point of view and to making sure that our java application is running smoothly and with optimum resource utilization so let's jump into the next slide java virtual machine java virtual machine as you can see here we write the java source code in some kind of uh, uh, coding uh, there are, there are multiple tools where we can write the code then we compile the code and after the compilation there is java class file created interpreter is there and that ensures that the code is run and when interpreter is there at that time jvm comes into the picture and that makes sure that code is run so this part is already done all this part is already done now when we are executing we are not running the code it's instead the code which has been already compiled that is going to be run using java virtual machine right so where comes these heap dump thread dump and garbage collection into picture whenever we are having our jvm running the java application we need to troubleshoot and look into the resource utilization and ensure that it is at the optimum level it generates three different kind of artifacts which are very critical three critical artifacts that are useful for optimizing the performance and troubleshooting production problems otherwise without this it would be almost difficult to find out the issues in jvm so this is what we are going to learn here in this video so heap dump thread dump garbage collection let's look into them each of them one by one heap dump is a snapshot of your application's memory in a point of time so java is running it is having classes objects it is creating multiple objects and how those objects are stored and they are going to be utilized how they are placed within the memory whether they are young generation or old generation young generation is the object which is created recently old generation is the object which is created sometimes back so we have to look into all those aspects to make sure that our memory utilization is running perfect and that's where heap dump helps us it provides the complete snapshot of your application's memory being utilized at a particular point of time what kind of values are there what kind of objects are there that all details you can find in heap dump and then we have thread dumps which is a snapshot of all the threads running in the application so one application is going to run multiple threads uh, simultaneously so that it can make sure that uh, it can work on multiple aspects or multiple activities can be done simultaneously and that's where thread dump gives us the picture how many threads are open is it within the limit or not is it going beyond the limit is it, is it taking too many resources so that's where it is going to help us and here you can see thread state thread id native id thread name stack trace priority these are the aspects which are going to help us in looking into thread and whether those threads are running at optimum level or not or they are being executed and completed within time or not 
so that kind of analysis can be done using thread dump there are specific commands available to execute them and to create those dumps and to add uh, logging properties etc so that can be done you can go further details in the uh, in, in, you can find different kind of documentation for that now garbage collection log garbage collection log is when memory is allocated objects are created garbage collector is there to make sure that all those objects which are not in used that memory should be clean those objects should be deallocated and memory can be again make available in the system so we use some kind of uh, xarx configuration to ensure that we provide some kind of limits to our jvm that it can use minimum this memory maximum this memory depending on the application requirement and within that application has to use the memory and then after the use of memory it has to deallocate also so that memory can be again reclaimed and next cycle also can run so if there are some issues with garbage collection you are going to identify using garbage collection logs so if it is not able to reclaim the memory back to the system it is not able to provide it then garbage collection logs are going to help us where exactly it is failing if let's say memory utilization is continuously going high and high and garbage collector is not able to reclaim the memory which means heap size is growing and uh, there is uh, garbage collection garbage collector failing to recollect that memory so that's where that issue is going to be identified and ultimately uh, it will run your program will run out of memory and there will be no memory to run the program or to create new objects so there could be memory leaks memory leak means you created the object but you don't did not deallocate the object so it is very important in java that whenever you are creating the object you also deallocate the memory once the object is utilized the purpose is finished then you have to deallocate the object so that the memory can be reclaimed using garbage collector if that is failing our application is ultimately going to run out of memory and it is going to fail and this is a very important aspect of uh, java memory management now if it has helped you do not hit uh, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video you can get similar videos also in future i hope it has helped and you are able to learn something from this video bye take care